last physical. The last physical was probably you said I think what a month ago, mm-hmm. where you got the injury, right? What? You said that was I'll a month say ago. a few weeks, give or take. Yeah, a few weeks. That was the last like physical altercation between the two of you. Um. You said a month ago you hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. That's why I can't believe you guys didn't take that either. <coughs> Welcome to the U.S. Criminals YouTube channel. Explore our new video. When dumb criminals realize they are not above the law, featuring humorous situations where foolish criminals discover they can't escape justice, subscribe, like, and share to join the community. Spread joy and humor. A 42-year-old woman named Sarah Boone called 911 after discovering her boyfriend, Jorge Torres Jr., unconscious inside a suitcase during a game of hide-and-seek on February 24, 2020. The Orange County Sheriff's Office responded, coordinated with emergency medical services, and checked on Sarah's well-being. During the encounter, Sarah asked if she could go back into her house to get her cigarettes and Dr. Pepper. The officer told Sarah she couldn't enter the house and inquired about the victim. Sarah responded that Jorge, her boyfriend of three and a half years, was the victim. The officer questioned her, saying, You can't go back inside. What's happening? Who is he to you? Sarah confirmed he was her boyfriend for about three and a half years. She explained they were working on a puzzle and doing art, and after sharing a bottle of wine, they decided to play hide and seek. Jorge then chose to hide inside a suitcase. Hello there. Hi. You live here? Yes. Okay, I'll talk to you. We gotta get some information from the fire department. That's my um, the parking lot of Bravo. You the property manager. Yeah, I don't know if I should go tell him really quick or just we'll so he knows what's that. going on. Where is he at? And you walk that way. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll take care of that for you, okay? Can I go? I had a cigarette um, little. I'll get it for you, okay? Wait one second, okay? I really need something to drink. Okay, well, we'll I got my Dr. Pepper on the counter. Okay, we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Don't bring up by the hall there. The officer suddenly spotted a guy near the house whom Sarah identified as her ex-husband, so she summoned him over. Sarah then began detailing the events that unfolded after Jorge entered the suitcase. She clarified that upon discovering Jorge inside the suitcase, she promptly initiated CPR. Um, what's going on? Sorry, I just got here, so fill me in. No problem. Like, yeah, he and I were putting a puzzle together. We've been doing some artwork right together. Home. You are putting a puzzle together? Yes, we have a puzzle that we started in there. Okay. We've been doing art, trying to take stuff off the wall to, to make new art put up there. Like, having a good time with one another. But we're drinking. We had a bottle of wine last night. Okay. Fine. So then it's like, we decided to play hide and seek. She refuted having any awareness of Jorge having pre-existing medical conditions. Additionally, she asserted that she never witnessed him taking any medications. So, he gets in the suitcase, okay? Who is this guy? That's my ex-husband, my former husband. How did he, he live here with you guys? No, I called him over here. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. So then he came over here. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called you guys. Mm-hmm. I tried giving it CPR. I, I, the problem is, is I fell asleep. I fell asleep. When did you do CPR? This morning. When I found it. Before him. you called? Yes! It's one o'clock right now. I tried. I was awake, but I actually got out of the bed at like 12.30ish, whatever. So I came downstairs. And I was like, oh, he's in the suitcase still. And that's when I found him. And I took him out. I tried doing CPR, and then I called him. The officer proceeded to converse with the ex-husband, requesting him to recount the events that led him to that point, a request to which he acquiesced. You okay? I don't, I wasn't here. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I fell asleep, so I don't know if he suffocated or like had an aneurysm or a heart attack or what. What kind of medical conditions does he have? None that I know of. Nothing that you know of. None that I know of. None that I know of. No, no. No medical. All we had was a bottle of wine. Literally, just a bottle of wine. Okay. Doing puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. Mm-hmm. That's all that happened. The former husband explained to the officer the reason for his presence at the address. Additionally, he stated that he did not enter the house on that particular day. Hey, how are you? Okay, so you don't live here in this house? No, 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 no. I live down in uh, Lake Winona Cove. Down Lake there. Winona Cove. Okay. Yeah. So, kind of tell me how you came here today, or? Well, I had been um, calling. Come down here. We got to talk. Why 
wife a current yes, wife? Yes, yes. Okay. No, 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 no. Ex-wife. We've okay. been divorced about a year and a half. Um, yeah, thank you for your problem. About 11.30 is when I started calling to find out because this is supposed to be her day. So, um, her child. Okay. Um, she's generally not very good about always doing it. She Drink. They called back and said she was still there, there, or she came back. Um, so I was calling to find out if she was going to be getting him or not today. From school. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, I started calling like 11.30, called every half hour, hour or so, and then she was back inside the lobby. finally got a hold of her at 12.49, which is when she told me what was going on and if I'd come over here, so I came over. She called at 12.45. Yeah, okay. or 1249. 1249. Um, got over here, told her she needed to call 911, get somebody over here. Okay. And then uh, basically she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. I walked back out the house because I didn't really want to Who be called? Did you call or did she call? Well, I called. She called me back when I was on my way to make sure I was coming over. But um, I called her initially. Give me one second, okay? But I called her initially. Do you have water in your car? By any chance. I don't think so. He informed the officer that Sarah and Jorge had a track record of domestic violence, and moreover, Jorge was on parole at that moment. She called, you get over here. Well, I, called, I called her first. Okay. Um, trying to find out if she's going to get Lucas. That's what she told me everything was going on. Um, I got my stuff together, put the puppy up in his crate. Um, when I was starting to drive over here is when she called me to make sure I was coming and then I got over here after, right after Did you that. go inside and see and then? I, I, I walked inside the front. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see the little front tile area. Come I, on, step this way. Mm -hmm. I saw legs. Um, I, I just didn't really want to be in there around it. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> I told her well, I Well, just for the sake of the crime scene, I want to know if I were to find your foot it would be because you went this far into the house. So did you actually make into thr I don't think the I, threshold? I don't think I ever made it to the carpet. I think okay. it was just in that, um, I've been over here before. Right, so, right, I mean, right, <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I don't think I stepped past you that did, okay. um, tile area. The police requested Sarah to recollect the events. Sarah went on to recall the sequence of events, mentioning that she administered CPR upon discovering Jorge and subsequently called the emergency services. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of what you have. Well, sit tight for us. Um, okay. We're gonna make a few phone calls and then we'll go from there. Do okay, you know if he fine. has um, any med uh, medical issues or? I, I don't. Okay, I but have. you've met him before. I've because... met him before, yes, okay. yes. They've got a full fun history. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you guys have called him for twice. For the two of them? Yeah, he's been for like five times. Really? Okay, I'm not familiar with. So, I haven't been here personally. It's so they have. He, a, he's currently on parole because of it. So um, because of domestic violence with her. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. From last time enough. he got um. Whatever it's called, three trials, something or other. He had to go to a um, domestic violence class. Okay. I know he was doing it at a parole officer. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But I mean, like every time she'd have him arrested, the next day she was trying to get him bailed out. Too, so. mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Oh, she's getting water from the tap. He's, I was going to have him arrange child care. Okay, good. For the child in school yeah. up the yeah. street. Okay. Um, is my name on there yet? No, sir, it's not. I need to get her on there too and him. Yes. So they're on route already, probably? Did anybody call? No, you want me to call? Yeah. Oh! I thought you were calling. All right, let me get homicide. They're here. They're going to ask you a few questions and then go from there, okay? okay. All right. All right, sir. My name's Chelsea. My partner, Scott. Um, to my understanding, you reside here? Yes. Okay. Is it just you? Um, and that, George. Okay. Um, I have a nine-year-old. Romy. It's 50-50 with Ryan, my former husband. Your former husband. Okay. Um, but you reside here with George, and then your son lives with you, or lives there. It's fifty-fifty. Yeah. Okay. Um, so from what um, has told me, um, she explained um, last night that you guys were drinking a bottle of wine, um, and around midnight, um, you decided you guys. Twelve thirty-ish. Yeah. Okay. 
you guys decided to play hide and seek. Well, we were playing hide and seek, and then <coughs> was your son home at the time, or no. okay? No, with my Ex. with Brian. Okay. Um, decided to play. We just stupid like that. Like, sure. We were putting puzzles together. We were doing artwork. You can see the puzzle that we finished in there, and then the artwork, and then decided to play hide and seek, just being stupid. Okay. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was laughing about it too, mm -hmm. to zip him up in there. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs and fell asleep. Okay. So this morning when I, or this afternoon when I actually got up out of the bed, I thought for sure he was downstairs on the laptop and he was just being really quiet. But then I came downstairs and I'm like, where is he? Like, <gasps> and then I, that's when I found him. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. And then you weren't sure about if you woke up this morning? It was afternoon. I mean, I wasn't awake. Or this afternoon? But I just didn't want to come downstairs. So okay. I just laid in the bed for a little while. And then I eventually came downstairs and was confused about where he was. And then I was like, oh my God, he's in the suitcase still. So I pulled him out and I stretched him out and I started to try to do CPR on him. Okay. I called you guys. Well, I called Brian. Okay. And then I got here which is 30 seconds down the road i called you guys okay and the person on the phone had me do the compressions continually still and count with him and until you guys showed up okay and um so as a part of our investigation we obviously have to go inside the house we have to look at things are you okay with us yes. going in the house and looking at things yes. okay um okay um and forensics so we have to have our forensics crime scene investigators come out uh -huh. are you also okay with them coming inside do taking photographs and okay okay can i ask is brian, or, <coughs> brian i'm sorry george is he diagnosed with any kind of medical history not that i know of not that i know of i, I don't know i mean he doesn't take drugs i mean we'll have the occasional bottle of wine here and there but i don't know like that's going to be my next question. So you guys don't normally drink? You just drink once in a while? or? Well, I'm going to say, like, okay, I guess normal drinking is, like, we will have, like, a glass of wine or two, like, while we're cooking dinner. Or sure. We'll and we'll play a board game with them. And we'll be right there. But, I mean, it's not, like... A couple of beers a day is... Well, I mean, but I don't... Like, I don't understand, though, like, for the little bit that we had, like, if not had anything. Like, I don't know if you had a heart attack or a stroke or an aneurysm or what happened to him. I don't know. And were you guys together all day yesterday? Yes. Okay. Here? Yes. Like, you, neither of you left the apartment yesterday? I think we drove up to the convenience store to get cigarettes. Okay. But, I mean, it's, you can walk there. Does, does he have any history of any drugs? I know he doesn't now because you said he doesn't. But I don't know. He, as I mean, far as you've no, ever known him, you've never no. seen him? No. I mean, he's from Philadelphia, and he, he grew up in Philadelphia, and then he went to Massachusetts, and then from Massachusetts, he came down here. So I don't really know, okay. like, a whole lot of, like, medical history or anything How long like have that. you guys been together? Um, almost four years, like three and a half years. You guys been living here the whole time? Yes. Okay. okay. He's never been to the doctor or to the hospital during that time? Um, he had, he and his brother got into a really bad argument at one point he had to have facial reconstruction but he has been in the hospital from that and then I talked him into going to see like a regular physician so he could get just like a regular like checkup thing yeah. but there were no red flags so how long ago was that the surgery or yeah, the doctor both, both. both the surgery I think was at this point what <coughs> two years maybe two and a half years the Checkup was probably a good two years too. Appreciate you coming in. Yes, ma'am. Can I? I want to ask you about these whenever we have a moment. Sure. Um, so obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So I'm going to read you your rights again because I we have to talk about that. And since I'm talking about the incident. We just have to do it, just, just like we did yesterday. Protocol. Just like we did yesterday. Remember I read you the rights? Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's the exact same thing, but since I'm asking you follow-up questions, I need to read them to you, okay? Sure. All right. So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before and during questioning without charge. 
If you cannot afford a lawyer and want one, one can be provided for you before questioning without charge. Has anyone threatened you or promised you anything to get you to talk to me? No. And do you understand what I just read you? Yes. Perfect. Do I have to watch this? I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. <clears throat> well, it's on your phone. And you can either explain it or we take it for what it is. Yeah. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. It's that long? Two minutes. Intentional. Yeah, that's bad. Like, which I swore in my son's life was not intentional. So that's why I'm trying to figure out what I need to do for myself okay. going forward with this. Nonetheless, with his family. And are you all just showing up with Lucas in the house? We've already both told you that we would be mindful of any situations. So do you guys, I guess, are going to call me tomorrow? Or do we need to come back down here? I'll chat with you next time. I have no idea when I'm going to call you next. Uh, isn't the report coming out tomorrow? No. What report? I'm just saying a report is generated through us and the sheriff's office is a public entity. So if someone were to come request something, then... No, I'm talking about um, his autopsy. She's waiting and doing our follow-up, but... She's looking at him again. <coughs> yeah. But she won't be finished with him because she's, she's pending for other stuff. Go, Shanda. I have not found So what am I going to do with Thanks my purse? Oh, sorry. Your purse is going to come, but the cigarettes and stuff can't, so... Let's build an exciting community on the U.S. Criminals YouTube channel with hilarious moments when dumb criminals try to escape from the police. Subscribe, like, and share the videos to spread the joy and encourage passion for this entertaining content. You are an essential part of the channel's growth, bringing entertaining moments to everyone.